beautiful tinkers thank you guys so much for watching and the 4th of July is just around the corner I wanted to show you guys just four quick and easy designs that anybody can face paint you guys are gonna be able to face paint these on your mom your dad your brother and sister nieces and nephews you guys pretty much get the point make your 4th of July barbecue extra special which is adding a little bit of face paint all you guys are going to need is a red, white, and blue Snazaroo face paint and a number five or six round brush. You guys could easily purchase these at your local Michael's craft store or Hobby Lobby. Now let's get started. But first, I wanted to show you the Snazaroo paints you'll see at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. If you don't find individual paints, you'll also find a mini face painting kit that will run you between 14 to 16 dollars which is usually the one that i always recommend for all you mommies out there okay my teens with your number six round brush and your white paint we'll be able to start step number one start painting out your flag shape in a rectangular shape once you paint on the desired size of your flag, we'll be able to start filling it in. Now let's make sure we paint on a nice even layer. Using your blue, we'll be painting on our blue square on top of your flag. Using your red, we're going to start applying our stripes. Now this is a quick flag, so we don't have to have the exact amount of stripes on. And our final step, step number four, using our white again, we'll start adding our stars or cute dots. Place them anywhere you feel looks good. And bam, we're done with our flag. Step number one, using your blue, we are going to start in the middle and start flicking your brush outwards. Start flicking your brush all the way around in a circular direction, some longer than others to give it that explosive look. Let's add two more. Step number two, using your red, you'll do the same exact flicks on all fireworks. And final step, step number three. Do the same thing with your white at the end to give it that bright, explosive look. Step number one, we're going to start painting out what's going to look like an ice cream pot in a rectangular shape. Let's also make sure we fill it completely in. Step number two, using your blue, paint a triangle on top of your ice cream pop, aka firecracker, and fill it in. Oh. 
Using your red, let's add some stripes going down your white like a candy cane. Using your white again, you're going to start flicking out your brush on the bottom of your firecracker to give it that firing up look because this firecracker is about to take off. You can make the stick a little longer if you have to. And final step, step number five, add white stars or dots to your blue and ta-da, all done. Step number one, using your white, you're going to paint the whole bottom lip and half of the top lip. And remember guys, whenever face painting something on yourself when you're standing in front of the mirror, it's always going to be a bit tricky because you're always going to have to paint things on the opposite side of your face if you really want it to come out looking exactly the way it should. And as you can see, this is a good example of what I'm talking about. Um, right here you see me applying the white on my right side of the lip, but in, when I should have been applying the white on my left side of the lip because the blue is going to go on that side. So it, that's exactly what I'm talking about when you're looking at yourself in the mirror. It could get a little tricky, so always remember that. But for this video, let's just pretend I did it on purpose. Um, yeah, I wanted to show you the other side of the flag. Step number two, using your blue, you're going to start painting the other half top of your lip. Now let's make sure the lips are completely dry before closing your lips, just to avoid any smearing. You don't want to ruin those cute lips. Step number three, using your red, now start outlining the top white side lip, like a lip liner. Then you're going to add another red stripe in the middle of your lip. Then you're going to outline the bottom lip and also add another stripe in the middle of the lip. Don't forget, let's make sure those lips are completely dry before closing your mouth. And final step, step number four. Using your white again, add tiny stars or dots on top of the blue and voila, you have some cute, sexy lips. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to take some pictures and send them to me. I would love to see how your paintings came out. Thank you so much once again for watching. Please, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any other cool videos. Bye, guys. I hope you guys have an amazing 4th of July weekend. Hugs and kisses. Bye, Tinkers.